Hey, can y'all hear that sizzling? That's the last piece of corn that we have in the Instapot air fryer. See, it's on air fry. We set it for 14 minutes. At six minutes, we turned them, and this is what they came out like, just like they're supposed to, fried corn, except I was told I did it wrong. I, I didn't know it was supposed to have batter, but uh, look how nice it came out. Okay, so this is the rice pilaf. That came out really nice, too. Y'all see the consistency of it? So easy to make. Just like, I mean, it's as easy as making a box of rice pilaf, but it's probably cheaper in the long run, and it's homemade. So this is the fried chicken. My last piece got a little done, but it's all right. Now, Katie tried the crust, and she said it was pretty good. She gonna lift one up, I guess. Yeah, that's the chicken. Oh, yeah, that, that came out nice. That's the chicken underneath it. Yeah, that looks good. She's making herself some pasta salad, suddenly salad. She doesn't like rice, and she wasn't in the mood for macaroni and cheese. So that is what we are having for dinner. I showed y'all all the ingredients in the beginning, how I battered the chicken and everything, and how we did the rice. But if you have any questions or comments, just let me know, and I'll help you out if I want to. I might not. You never know. It depends on my mood. So, uh, with the air fryer, it's really easy. It's just, you know, the lid just goes on. Not like the Instapot where you have to turn it and lock it. Just make sure that that label is uh, in the front. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to enjoy our meal, and we'll see you next time. Bye.